Welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited to have you here if you are new. Hi, my name is Ashley. I am a lifestyle YouTuber and if you like this video, please consider hitting the subscribe button. So today's video is going to be part of me sharing my personal story and also some advice tips I have for y'all if you are thinking about graduating early. So if you don't know, I graduated high school with my Associates of Arts degree when I was 16 years old and I'm currently 18 and I'm about to be graduating college with my bachelor's degree at 18 years old. I am graduating this May. So I do have quite a bit of experience in this field, so yeah, I thought might as well let you all get to know me a little bit more and hopefully I could help some of you out with some advice on how to graduate early and what to keep in mind if you want to graduate early um, from someone who's done it before. Before we get into the video, I am wearing an outfit that is not fully 50s themed, but it kind of looks like it, so I just wanted to share it with y'all real quick. Okay, so let's just get started. Um, I, I was having a really hard time trying to figure out how I was going to structure this video because I'm really passionate about um, unique education because my education was so unique um, and I'm really passionate about education in general. So I have a lot to say and I didn't want to make this video too long so I've kind of broken it into parts. So I just want to start out with um, my story, what I did in my life and why and then we'll get into the advice and whatnot later on. If you all don't know, I was an actress in the past. I'm not sure how much I'm going to be pursuing that in the future. Um, but yes, I was an actress from the time I was like 12 up until I started on my bachelor's um, at school here last year. So from like 12 to 16 slash 17. And it's something that I was really, really passionate about and I really, really loved doing. Um, and I did it full force like it was the only thing that was on my mind obviously education was still important to me and I still wanted to you know get good grades and do good in school um, but that wasn't really a challenge for me and acting there was just so many avenues I could do and, and so many things I could take and, and so many ways I could push myself so I focused on acting for a really long time and my parents were so supportive my mom took me everywhere and we did everything we could and um, even if I don't pursue that in the future anymore, I'm so, so thankful that I had that in my past because I just love doing it. And my mom and I got to do so many amazing things together and I got to meet so many amazing friends, which I'm still friends with today. Um, so it was a great experience. Not really sure if I'm going to be pursuing that in the future because um, I think my priorities have kind of changed at this point in my life, but I'm definitely not pushing it off the table and not crossing it off. Um, so that might be another avenue in the future that I want to pursue again, but right now, I don't want to. Anyways, long story short, that was, that was a long explanation. Um, I started doing that when I was 12, and it was always a big priority. In um, high school, I knew that you could dual, dual enroll, so you could take college classes while you were in high school at the local state college. So my first semester, my first year at high school, when I was a freshman, I started dual enrolling. And I had two periods a day that I took off from high school and I went over to the college and took classes. So I think I took two courses that first semester and then another two at that second semester. And by my end of my freshman year in high school, I realized with all of the requirements left, I could finish it within a year. So I could graduate high school two years early with my associates of arts degree from a state college because <laughs> the main reason is when you take college classes they count for high school credit and college credit so basically I kind of skipped the majority of high school and just took college classes instead I did a few high school classes after I realized I could graduate within the next year it was going to be really really tight so I worked my butt off that last year um, and I did summer classes and then that next year, my senior year, which was technically only my sophomore year, I only took one course at the high school and all of my other courses I was taking at the college. So I think I took a full course load at the college plus a high school course in person and I'm pretty sure I also took a high school course online. But I know I was working my butt off, I was doing college classes um, and I knew that I could graduate and my guidance counselors thought I was insane let me tell you I'm pretty sure everyone at the school thought I was insane I don't really know um, but yeah so I just figured out that I could graduate early and I just wanted to 
so I did. <laughs> the reason why I wanted to graduate early once I found out I could was because of acting because there are some legality reasons why you can't work as much or you can't get as many jobs until you're 18. Production companies try to hire adults to play high school roles because it's cheaper and all of that. So I thought, my mom and I were like, well if I can graduate when I'm 16, then I can just go straight into acting and I'll be, I'll be a 16 year old but I will be getting jobs that 18 year olds usually get for my age bracket, if that makes sense. So how did I manage it? I worked my butt off. It was my main priority. I did not do a lot of acting work during this time because I was so incredibly busy with school. I tried to do everything that I could with acting at the time, but school was my top priority because I knew I could finish it if I pushed myself so that I could further my acting career eventually. So it was kind of like putting it on pause a little bit to further myself to get to it, to be better prepared for it. And yeah, I, I worked so hard because this was my dream. Like I wanted to graduate early because I knew I could. And just knowing that there was a possibility that I could, automatically my brain was like, if you can, you're going to do it. So it doesn't matter what kind of stuff you have to go through or how much you have to work, <laughs> you're gonna do it. So that's kind of was my mindset. Not sure how healthy that is looking back on it just because uh, I was really, really focused on school more so than anything. So more so than acting, more so than friends, family, like... <sighs> my school had in place the opportunity to do enroll but they did not support it and they definitely did not like my ideas of graduating so early initially. Um, my guidance counselors were always really nice and everything, they just thought I was insane and they didn't really think I could do it. One of the reasons that the school didn't like what I was doing was because for the schools, it's better to have kids in AP classes than in dual enrollment classes. So when you take the test at the end of the year, those AP scores are the school's scores. It shows the county how the school is doing, how the school's students are doing. So they want those scores. I don't know how they really felt about it, that's just the experience that I had and how I kind of interpreted the experience. As for how students felt, I'm not really sure. I didn't, this is gonna sound so bad, I didn't really have too many friends um, just because I was so focused on my acting career and then now on graduating early that I just didn't have a big group of friends. I only had a few close friends, if that makes sense, which I don't think is bad at all. Um, so my few close friends thought it was awesome. They were all overachievers too, so they supported me in everything I did and they thought it was so crazy, but they thought it was cool. What am I trying to say? I don't even know. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to talk about was how I graduated early, but was still eligible to go to college, basically. Because a lot of the time when you hear people graduating early, it's, you know, they're doing dual enroll or they're doing online work and they just hate high school or they don't want to go to college. They just want to get out as soon as possible. Um, and obviously that was not at all what was my case. So I wanted to make sure that I got all of the things I needed to do on top of what the school required to make sure I had a good chance of getting into colleges. So that's another thing to keep in mind. I would say um, if you're trying to graduate early, make sure you know what you're getting yourself into, obviously. But also if you want to go to college or you think you might possibly in the future want to go to college, there are different things that colleges need for you to get accepted into them than what the high school needs for you to graduate. You know, I didn't need to take the SAT or the ACTs because you don't need those to graduate if I remember correctly. So I made sure to take the ACT, I made sure to take the SAT, I made sure to do volunteer work beforehand, I made sure to get my foreign language requirements filled out. All of those things that the high school didn't need, but the colleges did. It is kind of hard applying to colleges when you're graduating early. Um, but I don't think it's any harder than it normally would be because applying to colleges is always scary and always hard for every normal senior. I definitely would say that if you're trying to go my route and graduate early and then go straight to colleges, you really need to know that it's not for everyone because you have to put in a lot of extra work that normal students don't have to. One thing I would say is when you're applying to colleges, if you've graduated early, mention it somewhere, whether it's in the essay that you have to write or in like a written response something or another or just extra information to give them and the reason is when you graduate early you are at a disadvantage in the sense that maybe your test scores would have been higher if you had two more years in school before you went to college you know what I mean so it's good to let them know like hey I got these scores and hey 
I'm only this old. Planning for college is something that every person graduating high school who wants to go to college has to think about in advance. So if you're graduating early and you want to go to college afterwards, on top of thinking in advance about how to graduate early, you also need to consider thinking in advance about colleges you want to go to, applying to those colleges, visiting those colleges, getting into those colleges, on top of already having so much stress trying to graduate high school early. So once I got to college, I, I had applied, I'd gotten in, I made my decision, I'm at the college, I decided on the college that I'm at now, um, and right when I got in, as a freshman, um, you meet with your advisor. And right when I met my advisor, I told him, this is my plan. I know it sounds crazy, but I've done something exactly like this in the past. Like, I already have my studies history. I graduated high school to the fullest, you know, like I've been through this, but now I need to do it again. Um, at this time, I still wanted to act, so I had a reason behind it, um, which is what they always ask you is like, why are you doing this? Why? What is the rush? That kind of thing. So you need to have a good answer for that. Um, but he was really, really helpful. My advisor, I love him, I still have him, obviously. He really loved the idea of me being an actress because he could see I was so passionate about it. Um, so, he was a godsend, honestly. He helped me so much. Graduating high school early got me to the place that I needed to be to meet James. <laughs> like, that's, that's the easiest explanation that I can give to people, and when I explain that to people, they think I'm insane, but I know that it was God's plan for me to meet James and to be here at the time I was. And if I came to the same school two years later, there would be such a little chance that I would ever have met James. It's just such a godsend to know that God drove me to this place for a reason. Oh well, yeah, I am now graduating. It is not set in stone, but as close as it will be until I actually get the diploma in my hand. <laughs> and I'm super excited. That was just my story. I'm sorry if I rambled a lot, but there was a lot to tell, and I could probably go into even more detail about it. So if y'all want to have conversations about my personal story, feel free to leave comments below, or find me over on Instagram and direct message me, and we can have a great conversation about education. I'm all for it. Lastly, I just wanted to spout off a few pieces of advice I have for you that I've mentioned throughout this video, but I just want to like shine them in your face so you know because these are important. Graduating early is not for everyone. You need to think long and hard before you do it. You need to have a supportive family about it and you need to be determined to do it. Because if you're not, it's very easy to get discouraged because some people aren't going to be supportive and sometimes it's going to be really hard and you're going to have to jump through a lot of hoops. Figure it out yourself, take things into your own hands and hopefully you have a supportive family about it as well. Two is never take no for an answer. If you know there's a possibility of being able to graduate and you want to do it, go for it. Obviously, I hope y'all have good intentions about it and you have a reason for graduating early or something of the like, but if you want to do it, and you know in your heart it's right, do it. Three, if it's God's plan, it will work out. Everything will work out. Just continue preparing and working hard for yourself, and He will open the doors that need to be open. So the last piece of advice I have for y'all who are wondering, how do I start this process? Why would I want to start this process? Do I have what it takes to do this? Am I smart enough to do this? First of all, you are smart enough because you don't have to be a genius to graduate early. I'm definitely not a genius. I just have motivation, which is what you need. Just know that all of the things you're worried about right now will work out. Um, if any of you are having troubles trying to figure out if you want to graduate early, um, how it'll work, all this and that, I am praying for you. I hope that you figure everything out and you figure out what's best for you. So thank you so much for watching. I am so incredibly sorry if this was so long. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Please give this video a thumbs up because I am really passionate about this kind of stuff. If you want another video on like a different topic related to this, I will gladly make it. I just want to make it if you all enjoy it. So if you don't enjoy this, that's okay. I won't make any more like this, but I want to get my story out there so y'all can know more about me and hopefully I can help some of you along the way. So thank you so much. I'll see y'all next week. I love you endlessly.